What's up, guys? Tyson Dela Cruz here. Thank you so much for rock with me. Truly appreciate it. Axios released an article uh, a few days back. Uh, GOP makes case Biden should go now. Uh, Republicans continue to use Joe Biden's debate. Wow, I sound like Joe Biden right now. <laughs> Republicans continue to use Joe Biden's debate fumble to argue that the 81-year-old president is unfit to be in office now much less in 2029. We all saw the debate. Uh, we clearly, clearly see that, um, you know, there has been a significant jump from his cognitive decline before. We, you know, a lot of a lot of individuals knew that there was, you know, previous cognitive decline occurring, but it was clear on the main stage it's interesting that why would they even allow his handlers to why would his handlers even allow him to go and and know you know it was like a setup man um why does this matter they're questioning biden's ability to handle a world at war hitting down ballot democrats who have defended his mental acuity and calling for his removal through the 25th amendment um it's it's clear to see that there is something going on um, with this individual. Um, and, you know, Tucker Carlson has mentioned it in, in a previous speech. He actually <clears throat> lived next door to Hunter Biden. And uh, he, he was aware of the cognitive decline back in 2019. And anybody who's experienced, uh, you know, early onset dementia or Alzheimer's can clearly see that there is some type of cognitive decline occurring. So. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into this video. This isn't only my opinion. This is the opinion of every senator and congress member and governor that I've spoken with in private. Why are all these conversations happening in private and we have to get leaks? At least finally George Clooney has come out and, and written his opinion and spoken honestly with the American people. Well, I'm actually kind of envious of the Democrats because they stay in lockstep even when they have a reanimated corpse as their leader. They all will fall in line and actually do it behind closed doors. But if you're actually paying attention to the political world, the Obamas do not particularly love the Bidens and the Clintons don't particularly love Joe Biden. And Joe Biden did a ton of illegal business dealings yeah. through his son, Hunter Biden, with the Ukraine and with China so that they know that he's just as crooked as them. So they're not going to be sad to see him go, but they're going to put out this public you know, persona as if they support Joe Biden, when in reality, nobody on the left supports or trust joe biden to be the leader of the free world wow. i have to ask you what do you make of hunter biden sitting in on all those meetings with with joe biden well if i was guilty of uh, gun charges and drug charges i'd want my dad to stay as president as long as possible just to make sure that i get pardoned but <laughs> you know honestly i respect i would respect joe biden for pardoning his son right away i know he doesn't want to try to give uh, the appearance that uh, you know favoritism but I think it makes him look worse as a father if he doesn't immediately step in and help his son. And let's be real. Joe Biden will not even acknowledge his own granddaughter, Navy Roberts, who had a DNA test. Hunter Biden is the father. Joe Biden, the president, is the grandfather of this baby. And they have endless amounts of money. So there's no valid reason for them not to even admit that they have a grandchild. And now wow. that they're trying to kind of admit it. But that shows you how big of a fraud he is. He has blood family members that he won't even let use the Biden last name because he doesn't even love his own family. So if you think that he's going to love the American people, trust me, he doesn't. And uh, his family, I don't think, loves him if they're going to keep him in the race. Looking at the fallout uh, around Joe Biden, Axios is reporting that Democratic U.S. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer... Let's jump into this. I, I had saw this uh, a couple of days ago. You know, Senator Kennedy, this is a big deal that one of your Democratic colleagues, Senator Warner, is having this meeting. When Biden was asked about this, he said, oh, that's just one senator. But it sounds like a lot of senators have concerns. And I'm wondering, you work with these senators every day. Do you think their concerns were assuaged tonight? Um, I'm not sure, Kaylee, that... Uh Interviews like the president gave tonight matter much at this juncture. Uh, you can't make this cat walk backwards. <laughs> People saw what they saw in that 90-minute debate. Uh, and I think most of them think that it's only a matter of time before President Biden stumbles again.
because they understand that old age doesn't get better, it gets worse. Fairly or unfairly, I think most Americans have made up their minds. I think they have concluded that President Biden is old, that he is likely suffering from some form of neurodegenerative disease, yep. <clears throat> that he's suffered from it for a while, and that the White House and many members of the media industrial complex have covered it up. And that cover up has been toxic. In my opinion, yeah, for it what has- it's worth, po- politically, uh, I think President Biden politically is as dead as fried chicken. <laughs> he can uh, quit, but he, he can be. <laughs> if you guys have not seen uh, uh, John Kennedy's, uh, Senator John Kennedy's television ads, they are, uh, they are freaking, they're a hoot. He, uh, he did one. Let me pull this up and then we'll, we'll continue with the, uh, the Biden situation. We'll, we'll hop on with uh, David Portnoy and hear what he has to say. Um, Here it is right here. I'm not going to play the whole thing. I'll just play the portion. Violent crime is surging in Louisiana. Woke leaders blame the police. I blame the criminals. A mom should not have to look over her shoulder when she's pumping gas. I voted against the early release of violent criminals, and I opposed defunding the police. Look, if you hate cops just because they're cops, the next time you get in trouble, call a crackhead. <laughs> I'm just- True. Absolutely true. Next time you're in trouble, call a crackhead. Uh, let's let's <laughs> let's jump into the uh, Dave Portnoy, uh, his his uh, conversation with Fox News regarding uh, Biden's cognitive decline. Let's jump into that. It's quote, it's devastating to say it, but. The Joe Biden I was with witnessed at us now. Dave, I'm, I'm so glad you decided to join us with a shirt this morning. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what, what was that about? I'm going to yeah. start doing my Instagram. He just like got that. out of the water, he right. said. Good. He was on a couch. So, Dave. I'm on okay. island time. I'm in Nantucket. I love nice. it, brother. So, so tell us, uh, why do you think all these people are coming out now? Well, they want to whack them. Like, to be honest, I'm probably in the minority. I tweeted during the debate. I thought Biden did great. Because I was expecting him not to be able to put a sentence together. If you have actually paid even a tiny bit of attention to Joe Biden over the last year, two years, you know that he's gone. And it happens when you get old, but you don't walk onto a stage and not be able to find your way off of it. You don't get corralled at, you know, international meetings by leaders having to walk you off. You don't fall off your bike. You don't say you had lunch with somebody who's been dead for five years or whatever. It's one after another after another. So I couldn't believe they let him do the debate, which brings to the point, if all these people, Clooney, Chuck, whoever, everybody knew that this man is basically a vegetable, why would you ever let him do that debate unless you want to show the world Mm. that he's gone and get rid of him? So uh, it's shameful. And the crazy part is, I think a lot of people, you could, I said this in the rant, you could say, is Trump versus a head of lettuce? And people hate Trump so much, they may still vote for the head of lettuce. That's what I'm saying. What we don't know is who's that. I'm I'm seeing this at, Jill did a, a, a freaking uh, a thick conference and there's people behind Jill four more years four more years and just like today Portnoy's point Trump versus a head of lettuce people be like oh man I can make I can make Caesar salad with that with that with that head of lettuce it's crazy actually been running the country um for the last four years who knows yeah so dave are you suggesting that biden's own team set him up to blow it that is a yeah i think the democrats i mean uh-huh. again if you guys all know each other fairly well yeah. if you've been around each other for four years and you're like this person has whatever whether it's parkinson's whatever and then you walk 
him to a debate, like what do they expect to happen? Yeah. That I, I literally was, oh, he's doing better than I thought. <laughs> and the rest of the country is like, this is the worst thing ever. It's like, where have you been? I, I didn't even think you could put a sentence together. But you remember the ridicule. I don't know if you got it. When we noticed that Barack Obama grabbed his arm off that fundraiser and walked him off the stage. You got oh, we have people saying it's so rude that we bring up that that's a problem because they're friends. That's what friends do. Now we find <laughs> out that are for. people are saying when he was there and not talking, he was staring off into the distance. He looked totally out of it. Nobody reported here's, that till it was done. A, before you talk, sorry to interrupt you, but let's play a flashback of the media montage. <laughs> Listen to this. All right, here we go. Let's not forget President Obama, President oh, uh, Biden. Have and a honestly, guys, she's she's doing. Miss Pierre, she's doing the best. She's doing the best she can with what she's got. You know, I'm sure there's there's things that they don't tell her. Um, and I'm not defending her by any means, but she's doing the best she can with what she's got, man. And she's just trying to make sure that people believe that this is it's 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 a it, you know it's a potato. It's not a. a uh, something else, you know, that she's, she's doing the best she can with what she got. So kudos to her, man. Relationship. They are friends. They're like family to each other. And I think that's what you saw. She likes to, uh, you know, when, when, when used to ride the bike in, uh, when I used to, you know, when I ride my mountain bike, or especially when I was a kid, I used to, you know, you, you pedal pop, 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 and then you go forward and then you, you, you spin it backwards and you don't go anywhere. That's that's what she's really good at. She's really good at backpedaling and not going anywhere. Uh, you saw the president put his hand behind the, on the back of, of uh, President uh, uh, Biden and uh, and they walked off the stage after after uh, taking questions. The video from the L.A. fundraiser has become an election Rorschach test. Republicans, they see frailty. Democrats, they see friendship. Here is this headline from the New York Post, quote, Biden appears to freeze up, has to be led off stage by Obama. It comes less than one week after the New York Post made a cover out of another piece of deceptively edited tape. Both the articles are based on cheap fakes, videos of real events that are intentionally manipulated to fool viewers. It's unbelievable. I can't believe she was- You were not fooled, Dave. Well, if you're on the internet, this is one of many, and yeah. it, 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 there, uh, it, yeah. it was every week there was a different incident that you just can't look by. And again, the things he was saying, they were making no sense. He was slurring. So it was quite obvious yeah. that he was well into decline. And so to put him in a debate, I when I saw that he was going to do a live debate, I spit out my coffee. It's like, how? He cannot <laughs> yeah, do was, it. And then he yeah. couldn't do it. And everyone, I was shocked, too extremely shocked and then they they did the debate super early and they gave him prep time man he he was at camp david for like five days working rehearsing answers you're not doing a magic show man maybe they are i don't know but you're not doing a magic show i was like oh my god oh <laughs> yeah. where have you been you're this right. is not new you just haven't hey, been paying attention dave uh because you're in nantucket you're on island time you won't be at the press conference at 5 30 but if dave portnoy was at the event you'd stand up you'd say mr president i've got a question for you what would your question be to joe biden oh here we go why what who's not letting you step down <laughs> like i i don't think I don't think yeah. it's Biden, whether it's Jill, that that clip even after the debate where it looked like she wanted to airplane him in some mush peas. She's like, you did a great job. <laughs> somebody, listen, nobody wants to give up power. And he's the most yeah. powerful man in the world. Yeah. And somebody is running that and doesn't want to give it up. Who is it? Who is the person to say, Joe, you have to stay in the race because he's gone. It's obvious. Everyone knows he's gone. So You, said, uh, you said even Miss Peaches knows he's gone, your dog that everyone loves. He yeah, over and she, she, she's a toddler, and she knows. <laughs> right, so Dave, how much damage is done to the press and their credibility? How could you possibly yeah, be trusted again? They're not even acknowledging that they ignored this story for three years. Another four years. Yeah. story. The, the, the shame of it is I already had such, such little 
standards for it. It doesn't surprise <laughs> me. Um, and, and it's good. I think there'll be some people who switch, but this country is so politicized right. that the people believe what they, the Republicans believe one thing, Democrats the other. Right. But I don't know how anybody with a straight face can believe anything that's being said about the president. Absolutely. Hopefully they remember. Absolutely. I'm going to jump into that, uh, jump into that clip of Jill Biden after the debate. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let me know your thoughts down below here. Check this out. I can't thank you all enough for staying and for being here and for all your support. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question. You, knew you answered every question. Yes. Here you go, Joe. You get a star. Look at him. He's like, I Let did. Me ask the I did crowd, do a good job. What did Trump do? <laughs> Yo, if life wasn't so serious, it would be freaking hilarious. It this is this is the biggest dog and pony show I've ever seen, man. And uh, you know, it's distracting a lot of people. <laughs> It is, it is nuts. It is bananas. I'd love to get your thoughts down below on all this. The Dems switching, saying, hey, this guy isn't fit anymore. People, you know, pulling back their funding. A lot of people had pulled back their funding. A lot of big guys pulled back their funding um, for the Dems. <clears throat> uh, let me pull, let me pull this before we go. Uh, a lot of big companies, a lot of self-made individuals who originally endorsed the the Biden cabinet um, have have pulled out a lot of money. Um, and let's let's pull it out. Let's see. Disney heiress, uh, wealthy Democrat donor says they won't finance the party until Joe Biden drops out. <clears throat> uh, Abigail Disney, granddaughter of Roy O. Disney, the co-founder of Walt Disney, told CNBC on Thursday <clears throat> on Thursday that she plans to withhold donations to the party she has funded for years until Biden drops out. The president has said... He has no plans of withdrawing the race despite calls for him to do so. <clears throat> that's that's not the only one. There's a lot of uh, Hollywood folks, <clears throat> George Clooney. Uh, Yeah, there's there's a lot of other folks. I'll I'll have to pull it on the next vid, but a lot of individuals are dropping out. Uh, Hollywood power players pulling out from Biden's campaign. Let's see what this one is. Um, this is nothing. Let's see. Let's see what CNN has to say here. <clears throat> George Clooney, bop, bop, bop. We already talked about that. Anyways, 
Yeah, you guys already know. So I'd love to get you guys' thoughts on this. Uh, write your comments down below. Until then, I'll catch you on the next one.